Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, today I wanted to do a little quick video to just kind of show you a pretty cool tool that I just recently picked up. And uh, I posted some pictures of this over on Instagram and Facebook, and I had several people ask questions about it. And I decided, hey, I'm going to do a quick video and talk about this particular tool. So what is it? Here it is right here. So first off, it comes in this really cool box. I don't know. I just like this box. Brown and sharp. Brown and Sharp made some really neat tools. They were kind of a competitor to Starrett and Lufkin and a bunch of other different companies back in the day. Uh, Brown and Sharp was probably actually bigger than Starrett because they actually sold machine tools and stuff as well as uh, uh, individual tools. But this is something that, uh, unlike most of their machinist tools, this was something that was kind of unique to Brown and Sharp. I've, I've never seen one of these made by a different company could be some out there I've never seen them what is it you pull the top off and inside of this by the way this is a brown and sharp number 558 and it is a cylindrical square and okay yes cylindrical square a round square how can you have something that's round and square at the same time well it's a cylinder as you can see and it's square to the base um, and this one here is actually a little bit special because it does something in addition to that. Actually, in this direction, this is perfectly square all the way around. What is this useful for? A lot of different things. Over here on the surface plate, you can compare things and see how square they are. And uh, for example, I'm gonna pull out, this is a granite square that I have, and you can actually just bump it right up next to it and you can check and just look to visually see how square something is. Now the ideal way to do this is to get a light source. I'm just going to take a flashlight and get back here behind it. And what you want to do is look and see if you can see any light in between there. Yeah, down at the base down here, I'm seeing a little bit of light, but that's where we got some corners. There's very little gaps anywhere in there. And your eye, and particularly a light beam, you can really see something very, very fine. Um, this is just an example, and obviously I would expect both of these to be perfectly square. These are both reference surfaces, so we're not seeing any differences between them. Um, you can use this pretty much anywhere you want to check something that's square that you may not want to put a regular square on. The nice thing about these uh, cylindrical squares is they sit flat. You know, a, a typical um, tool square, a, you know, an L-shaped square, it doesn't always sit very well uh, on a machine surface or something like that. I use a cylindrical square over on my mill machine to tram it in. I just drop the, the column down, uh, the quill down, and I'll just bump this up on two different sides and I can very quickly see if it's square or not without having to use an indicator or anything else. And it gets amazingly uh, trued up very easily that way. I've got a video that I show how to do that. Uh, what's cool about this cylindrical square that makes it different from other ones is, is that you can flip it over and it's marked on there as to which side or whatever uh, goes on there. But in this particular case, when you flip it over, it's actually ground where it has a little bit of tilt to it. I think it's about a one thousandth of an inch of tilt. Actually, it's 1.2 thousandths um, of a, a tilt to it, uh, depending on which way you go here. And what you can do with this Right here on this side, this is, it's got some numbers on here. This is in ten, ten thousandths of an inch. So zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And you can actually get an idea of how far out something is from square, as long as it's in that resolution, by turning this, uh, this uh, square. So I'm going to come back in here. This is where it is square. You don't see any light. But as we turn this, as we rotate, I'm going to turn it around to the maximum tilt. So that's a thou and 1.2 thou. If you look down at the bottom, now you can see a little bit of light shining through there. Uh, so this is a tool that you can use to measure, you know, very fine differences in squareness without having to use an indicator or some kind of specialized equipment. Uh, and depending on which side you put this on, whether it's uh, up or down, and it says up here, use this end up for true square. That's going to be square no matter where you put it on there the other direction is going to have uh, the tilt in there. These, I had a lot of people asking about these lines in here. These can be used to kind of tell you roughly um, where, you know, where, where it's making contact. You can kind of get an idea 
as far as what the, how far out it is. So in this case, if it was out a little bit, you would rotate it until you didn't see that beam of light. And then you could kind of read your scale up here, see where it is on, on, or going around to determine uh, how far out of square it is. Not by much, but by a little bit. I will say that this is somewhat of a rare tool. Uh, Brown and Sharp made them. I'm not sure what years they actually made them between, but they did make them for quite a period of time. But um, there just wasn't a lot of them out there. Uh, and a lot of them sold whatever. They were very expensive back in the day, and they're hard, difficult to come by now. There are collectors who collect machine tools, and this is something that a lot of them are looking for. It's a little bit hard to find. When you do find one of these uh, Brown and Sharp number 558s, they typically go for a pretty good penny. And uh, I've been looking for one of these for well over a year. I've been searching, trying to find one that was reasonably priced. And uh, I finally just got really lucky a couple of weeks ago. And uh, one popped up on eBay at a reasonable price. I had to buy it now at a reasonable price. And I purchased it. I actually had an email conversation with the gentleman that sold it. And he said it had belonged to his grandfather. And he realized that it was worth more money than what he sold it for. But he was trying to give someone a good deal. He actually had um, multiples of these. His grandfather had passed the tools down to him. He didn't need all of them. And uh, he was uh, uh, just trying to be a good guy and pass some stuff out and make a little bit of money off of it but not get too rich. And I was fortunate enough to be the first one that saw it and jumped on it. And I'm really kind of surprised that, 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 I, that I was the one that got it because it was a good deal. Still had to pay a pretty penny for it, but it was a little less than half of what I normally see these go for. So I was pretty, pretty tickled to get it. Really handy tool. So when you talk about cylindrical squares, uh, there are, you can get a, a normal cylindrical square that doesn't have this tilt mechanism in it, uh, much more economical. It's a very handy tool to have. I've also got uh, this cylindrical square. This is one that I've had for a long time. This is one of the first tools I actually bought whenever I was really getting into the machine shop stuff. And I got it for tramming my milling machine head in, but I've used it for so many things. But this is also a cylinder square. It's a smaller cylinder. The big base down here is magnetic, so you can stick it onto a surface and it, will, it, just, it just sticks right down. Uh, the cool thing about this, this one is, is say you've got a, I use this in machinery building uh, because you can easily check squareness on a uh, surface plate if you've got a cast iron piece that you're, surf, uh, that you're uh, scraping. And I'll tell you what, let me show you. I've got an angle plate here. This is by no means, I haven't even checked it for squareness to see how square it actually is. I could do it if I wanted to, but uh, when you're scraping, you want to check for squareness. Instead of having to measure on the surface or something like that, you can actually take this magnetic square, let it stick on there like this right here. Now I can take an indicator and I can just check the height from the surface table up at different places out through here, and it will tell me if it's tilted in or out. So uh, this magnetic cylinder square, that's one application for it. And of course I can use this on a machine. Uh, the reason I wanted the magnetic one on my milling machine is I can stick it down to the table and it stays in place. So as I'm adjusting that tram on the, uh, on the quill, uh, if it bumps into it, it's not gonna scoot it. It's gonna kind of hold its own ground there to a certain extent. Uh, but again, another style uh, cylinder square. This one here, when I got it, it was actually out a little bit, and my buddy Stan Zinkowski over at Barzy Industrial, I sent this out to him, and he actually put it on his uh, grinder and uh, trued it back up for me. And this thing is within a ten thousandth of an inch of being square, at least it was last time I checked it. I'm sure it still is. I take good care of it. But two different styles of cylindrical squares, and uh, again, very handy tool in the shop. If you don't have a cylindrical square, uh, it is something you might want to look into. These brown and sharp number 558s, they are a little bit of a unicorn. They are hard to find, but they're out there. You can pick them up. Uh, they're probably going to cost you a little bit when you do, but I'm happy to have this one. And with that, uh, I think that's going to pretty much be a wrap. I'm going to put these back in their cases. I keep these in their cases so they stay well protected. They don't get beat up or banged around. They are uh, precision tools that uh, need to be protected and uh, nice to have this new addition to the shop. And guys, with that, that is going to be a wrap. Uh, I know a quick video uh, on a Monday here, but 
thought you guys might see this. Like I said, I had a lot of questions about it. Wanted to just do a quick video and show you this cylindrical square, and particularly this uh, brown sharp and how you can check the, uh, how far out something is within the re resolution of this particular square using this particular model. Very handy tool to have around. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we appreciate your views. We appreciate your comments. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, thumbs up are appreciated. Guys, we'll catch you on the next video.